A woman is bending over to put a melon on the floor. A woman wearing a white dress, accompanied by her partner, bumps into her and ends up having the balloon she was hiding on her dress pop. The woman screams in despair, and her partner decides to blame the woman whilst his partner desperately tries to replace her pregnancy prop. The blaming game continues as the woman who's faking her own pregnancy encourages her partner to do it. The confused woman, who was just taking care of her melon, asks what they're on about. The woman faking her pregnancy then decides to pretend she's in excruciating pain and starts to scream very loud, putting her hands over her belly. Her partner once again accuses the innocent woman of making his future son and his wife suffer. He threatens the woman and promises to take revenge if something happens to his future son. He then scolds his partner and tells her to be more careful. He then invites her to hurry up and proceed to their wedding. The innocent melon woman looks very upset about what just happened to her. After taking a deep breath, she comes to the realization that her melon is gone. Confused, she tries to figure out what happened to her precious melon. Meanwhile, the groom-to-be tells his wife to hurry up because people are waiting for them at the wedding location. His partner tells him to calm down because she doesn't understand why he's treating her like that. Suddenly, the melon woman approaches the couple from behind and screams at them, saying that she's looking after her cantaloupe. Shocked, the pretend pregnant woman drops the cantaloupe on the floor and it smashes into slices. Distracted and angry, the partner doesn't realize what just happened and instead decides to focus his attention on the woman who's just claiming her melon back. He says that he believes she did enough damage by nearly killing his son. He asks what she's after. Meanwhile, the pretend pregnant woman sees a little girl holding a balloon. The girl half inflates the balloon and gives it to them. Desperate, the pretender tells the girl to go away. The confused child then follows the woman's orders. The woman kneels down and continues to inflate the balloon. Meanwhile, the melon woman asks to have her melon back. After some discussion and confrontation, the man decides to check on his partner. His partner says that she can deal with it herself and that he shouldn't look at what's happening to her. Angry, the young man tells the woman that they don't have any melon and that she should leave them alone. The couple snubs the melon woman and just walks away from the scene. In anger, the melon woman decides to stomp her feet on the floor. As she does it, she realizes that she has just stepped on her own melon. The melon woman, very confused about the whole thing, says that she can't believe that it can be the person she's thinking of. Meanwhile, some time later, the registrar says that he's ready to start their ceremony. The man says that before he proceeds, he needs to know the truth about something. His partner asks what he's on about. The man says that she knows exactly what she's been up to. The woman tries to explain that it's not what he thinks, but her partner just ignores her and says that she's wasting her time because he's determined to find out. The woman shakes her head in disapproval and begs her partner to stop it. The young man ignores her requests and says that he's happy to finally announce the baby's gender. The young man whispers in his wife's ears that he can't have a girl because he made it very clear that he wants a boy at all costs. The pickup of gender reveals a balloon and counts to three. At three, he pops it with a needle to reveal the pink confetti. Upset, her partner says that he can't believe she screwed up. The blaming game takes a different turn as a pregnant woman approaches and accuses the young man of being the only wrong one there. The young man, surprised to see the pregnant woman, asks what she's doing in there. His partner inquires about her. The man explains that the woman is his previous partner. His current partner tries to force her out, but the woman starts by revealing to the young man that he can't marry that woman because she's not pregnant. Shocked, the pretender pops the balloon she was using to fake her pregnancy. Not pleased, her partner says that he can't believe she lied to him for so long and that she was never really pregnant. The other woman interrupts him and says that he's wrong about it. The man tells her to shut up and reminds her that the main reason he left her is because she never really got pregnant, despite their multiple attempts. The woman says that the funny thing is that she realized that he was the one who was low on something. She says that she decided to stop his stupid wedding because he can't get married if he doesn't even like himself. 
The woman who was faking her pregnancy says that she can't believe that he was the one who had problems and still made her feel so bad. She walks away and leaves the gutted young man crying over the realization that he can't make a woman pregnant. Fuming, he orders all the guests to leave and continues to deny his infertility to himself.